What we're looking at here is a, a development leg uh, for uh, sowing rape, um, in this case in the, in the cousin's V-form uh, cultivator. Um, the idea behind this leg is to um, move minimum amount of soil, uh, not bring black grass seed up to the surface, um, and look at uh, reducing the passage of uh, pesticides like carbetamide and propizamide and metaldehyde uh, to water so readily. Um, so we've got uh, a modified leg with a very uh, thin uh, leg at the bottom and a mini wing on, opening disc, um, and to complete the picture we've got a double, uh, a double uh, ring at the back which is kneading the smaller amount of soil moved back together to give us more accurate placement of, of rape seed as, as well. Uh, beauty of the system is if you've already got a V-form you can just change the leg um, uh, or buy the machine specifically to put, uh, to put rape in. Okay, the principle of the, the mini wing um, is that it moves a very narrow um, area of soil, places the rape seed into that um, in a very nice surface tilt, brings up no uh, clay with black grass containing uh, or contained in that uh, from depth, and then the double ring presses that back down. So you don't have to actually need to roll afterwards uh, either. Um, when you've got a full set of these legs fitted to, in this case, a three meter machine, uh, we've been pulling it with a 125, 130, 130 horsepower tractor, and it will pull that at up to uh, eight kilometers an hour. Um, so, you know, you can reduce the, the, the horsepower required and the diesel burn uh, to uh, put the crop in the ground. If you look at the, in this, this case, the machine's only fitted with one mini leg versus four standard legs and you can see the difference in the amount of soil movement uh, and surface uh, movement compared to the, uh, the uh, development leg.